Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel, myself. Today I am share with you how you can do this photo compositing or doing this photo manipulation. Whatever you call it, let's get started the video. To follow this tutorial, you can download this image link in the description. In first step, just to make a copy of this background layer, just press Ctrl J to make a copy of it and just change here its name to a subject. After changing its name to a subject, just go to side panel and select here this quick selection tool. With this quick selection tool, I am just to make here a selection of this sky. I am just to click on this and press Alt key to subtract this selection and make your selection precisely. Just to press Q key to see where your selection is not creating a properly. Now select a brush tool and paint on these areas where you see this red. I am just to paint on these areas. Make sure your foreground color is a white. Now I am pressing a Q key on my keyboard. Now you can see here this selection of the sky is created. Now just go to the adjustment layers and add here a mask. I am just click on this mask. With this you can see here this subject is removed but don't worry. I am just press Ctrl plus I to invert this selection. Now you can see here our this background of sky is removed. Now I am turn this layer on. Now just Click on a file and open your sky image which you want to create on this image. I am just to click on this open and place and I am open this sky one image. Now over this sky image is open when you click on a open and place with this our this image is automatically converting into a smart object. Now just take this image down to this subject layer. Now you can see here this sky is applied on her background. Now just to make it beautiful and realistic, just select a move tool and make a, this image larger. I am just make this image larger and you can adjust according to your preference or according to your taste. I am adjust it here. Now you can see here this is looking beautiful. Now just go to top panel and select here this filter. In this filter you can select here this blur. In this blur just select here this Gaussian blur. With this we are adding here some blur on our this sky image because that is look sharper with this Gaussian blur our image is looking more beautiful and more elastic. You can select here its amount according to your preference or according to your image. I am selecting here a value of 5.5 pixels after this I am just hit on a ok button. Now just to match these subject colors with this background color. I am just to select this subject layer and go to adjustment layers and select here this curve layer and select here this channel. In this channel I am selecting here this red and take this slider to a down. Just to stop where you see a some match of these colors with this background. Now just select here this channel and select here this blue channel and increase here this slider to a upside because our this background is a bluish so take this slider to a upside. Just stop where you see this match with our this sky. I'm just stop here and right click on this curve adjustment layer and create here this clipping mask. When you create here a clipping mask, this channel's changes is only applied to our this subject layer. You can see here, when you don't create a clipping mask, our these channel's changing is also applied on our this background sky layer. I'm just creating here a clipping mask. With this, this is only limited to our this subject layer. Now just select here this green channel and take this to a downside and just stop where you see these is match with our this background sky colors. I am just stop here. You can adjust according to your preferences. I am just making here a little bit changes. Now you can see here after applying this curved adjustment here this is looking awesome. Now to make this more beautiful, just go to adjustment layers and select here this brightness and a contrast and a decrease here its brightness value. I am selecting here a minus 23. Now just select this mask and make sure the foreground color is a black and select here a brush tool. Selecting here this soft round brush and paint on her face where you want some highlights. I am just paint on her face let's decrease here some flow and also decrease here's opacity 
you can paint where you want some highlights on this subject layer i may just make on some brightness or a highlights on her face or on her clothes you can take your time to do this manually i am just paint here and there now you can see here with this these minor changes are on this image now we are adding here a moon to add a moon just select here this new blank layer and go to side panel and select here this brush and in this you can select here this hard round brush I'm just to select this brush and increase here the size of this brush. I'm selecting here this amount and increase here its opacity to 100 and also increase here its flow. I'm selecting a value of this 100% and now just dab on this blank layer. I'm just dab here. Make sure you selecting here a foreground color to a white. With this we can create here this moon. I'm just to change here its name to a moon. Now just right click on it and convert this into a smart object after converting this smart object you can adjust this moon where you want to create this i am just adjusting it here now just go to top panel and select here this filter in this filter just select this blur in this blur select here this gaussian blur with this gaussian blur we can make this moon beautiful i am selecting here a value of a radius to a six pixels after this i am hit on a ok button now just to make here another copy of this moon layer just press ctrl j to make a copy of this now just to click on this gaussian blur and you can increase here value here i am selecting here a value of 15 pixels after this hit on a ok button now just to make another copy of this moon layer just to press ctrl j to make a copy of this and double click on this gaussian blur and increase here some values i am selecting here a value of 39 pixels now click on this ok button now make another copy of this moon layer i am just press ctrl j you can create these layers copy as many as you want now i am double click on this gaussian blur and increase here value of this gaussian blur i am selecting here a value of 150 pixels after this hit on a ok button now you can see here our this moon is looking realistic now you have to select this moon copy 3 and moon layer and press shift key to select these all layers and press ctrl g to make a group of these layers and change its name to a moon we are making of this group of moon layers to only making these all layers to a systematic now just select this subject layer and select here this mask and go to properties and select here this mask in these properties and increase here some feather values i am just increase here these feather values we are increasing here these feather value only for to make this more elastic you can see here these edges is looking sharp without these feather when we increase here this feather these edges is looking uh, smooth you can increase this feather value where you see this edges are uh, looking uh, smooth now i'm gonna click on these properties now you can see here this photo manipulation or uh, these photo compositing this is looking uh, more beautiful and uh, more elastic now you can see here this final result this is before this is after applying these all layers to create these photo compositing or these photo manipulation that's it i hope you'll enjoy this video if you did make sure you like this video and also subscribe this channel for more tutorial like this so see you in the next video till then bye bye